Good day, everyone. And I'd like to welcome Thorsten Thalcher to the show today. Uh, we had a fantastic experience today at the pre-sales bootcamp at the SAP Woodmeet head office, presenting together um, to the new generation of partners out there. So uh, Thorsten is the Solution Center Cloud Manager for MME for Success Factors. And I could not avoid to have him on the Success Factors show today. Thank you very much, Rhonda, for having me on the show and hi to all the viewers. I have to say it's a tremendous pleasure and honor to be part of the Success Factors show, um, especially knowing who else you had on the show, like Thomas Otter, Nate Herdo, two of my colleagues that I admire. So this is a tremendous pleasure to be here. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thorsten, and welcome to the Success Factors show. So Thorsten, what in your mind differentiates the success factor solution from other solutions? Or let me rephrase that. What makes you excited about the product? Oh, Rhonda, where to start? So I have to say I'm really passionate about the product. So this is really authentic. When I do those trainings and basically every component of the, our HCM suite offers something that is really unique and specific and just passing on my passion to, to partners, to, to prospects and so on. This is really what keeps me going. And um, so where to start? I mean, really the ease of use of the product is just phenomenal and amazing. I mean, everyone tells that our solution is intuitive to use and so on, but this really is. So I've experienced it by myself. When I joined the universe, the, the Success Factors universe, we use our tools internally. We drink our own champagne. You've probably heard that expression before. Not that often. <laughs> really? Um, <laughs> So and I never got a training on, on how to use the solution. It's really intuitive. It's so easy to use. And what I really understood now that ease of use is not just something that is nice to have, but it's really one of the main purchase decisions or decision makers for a product. So that would be one part. Then really the integration aspect oh, of yes, the HCM yes. suite, all the components that interact with each other, the information that you create in one component is available in another component. This is how HCM should be done and this is how HR departments should run in the organizations. So I could like speak without a break as you can imagine for <laughs> hours just telling you what what makes me excited about the product and it's yeah I really have like a, a real feeling for the product which, which is kind of insane but well that's just how it is. Well you've got to learn to love work again somewhere hey? And I did. I like that bit. <laughs> So another question is around the cloud versus not to cloud. So we have customers that's been around since 2002 using the cloud environment or in the cloud itself. Um, and we have customers that are SAP customers and non SAP customers. So sometimes it becomes a very gray line as to where the market is going with this. Um, how would you recommend partners, for example, recommend cu to customers to make that evaluation to either stay on premise versus the cloud? Okay, so that is actually, I think it's a quite easy answer to give. So first of all, some something that I really appreciate about the SAP strategy is that we are not forcing anybody to go to the cloud. Okay, so we want our customers, our prospects to really evaluate what kind of systems, what kind of processes are they running today and which are running in a great way. So if something is working for a customer, why change it? I mean, you cannot convince somebody exactly. to do that because it doesn't make sense. Exactly. So that's where the SAP strategy really fits in because as I said, keep what you, what is running great for you, but then add cloud services from SAP to um, complete the picture or complete your, your scenario. And the great story for SAP existing customers is that we offer out of the box prepackaged standard integrations, which re I mean, we know both ends of the equation. We know the cloud, we know um, the on-premise side of it. So it's easy for us mm. to, to pr um, provide standard integrations out of the box. So that's the good thing. But on the other hand, for prospects, for non-SAP customers, the experience that SAP and success factors in the past already had an integrating with, with practically any scenario makes it quite easy. So we provide the tools to do the integration. We have state-of-the-art technology to integrate. So the bottleneck will never be on our side. That is one point. And the other thing <clears throat> is that my personal um, opinion is it's not the question cloud or on-premise. So whatever new IT infrastructure somebody wants to get into the organization, they would ha have to ask a, a couple of questions and they need to get good answers. One, is it secure? Two, is it scalable? Three, can it integrate? 
four, can it, I forgot. Anyway, <laughs> so you have to get great answers to yes. these four questions. Yes. Um, and SAP and success factors offer fantastic answers to these questions. So in the beginning, if I may add that, in the beginning, cloud is like um, an emotional discussion and I feel insecurities whether cloud is secure or not, but SAP and success factors and ALOS um, as our partner, um, we can bring facts to the table to change that emotional discussion into a fact-based discussion. And then I don't know a lot of reasons why cloud should not yes. be an option. So if it's not broken don't fix it exactly yeah, and we are we are solution focused rather than system focused at the end of the day in any case so what would work best for the customer is what is important 100 percent totally yeah. agree so Thorsten you also speak with hundreds of partners every year because one of your main focuses at success factors is to make partners look really good and be successes which I think is quite a powerful role to have at a company. So speaking with these partners, what do you think would be maybe, let's say, the three top components that would assist in making an implementation of success factors not just technically successful, but actually business successful? Yeah. Um, so I think it all starts with education. So you have to have the knowledge how to implement the product. Mm -hmm. To gain that knowledge, SAP has great offerings like the Learning Hub or virtual online trainings. So we really have great offerings to make sure our partners have the knowledge to mm. the, the technical knowledge to do the implementation. So that's not, but not obviously that's not where it stops. So the second one is you really have to speak the HR language. You have to have that domain expertise to be able to, to act as a trusted advisor. And this brings me to the yes. third um, reason or the third important point, and this is exactly why our relationship with Alos has been so great in the past. Um, I always recommend that as a partner, you should develop some intellectual property. So go beyond the actual solution scope, bring uh, content that only you can provide, as I said, intellectual property services. And this is also one of the things that I see that differentiates Alos from other partners that still need to develop themselves into that direction. So yeah, those are the three, three main things I can think of. Fantastic, thank you. Another thing around implementations and purchasing a system is that customers can find it quite daunting to now start looking at automating their workforce and their processes into the perfect solution. Yeah. So do you have any advice for prospective customers? Absolutely. So this links back to the other question that you asked me and, and what SAP can offer. So I always recommend uh, prospective customers really look at your processes. What do you already have that works great for you? Stick to that and then add what you need. And when you really want to develop into a talent management company, let's call it like that, um, I always recommend, I mean, that makes the most sense, s start small and you can always then grow the environment mm -hmm. and to really have effective um, talent management, you need to have a good go management process set up, you need to have a good performance management on top of that. And once you know who are your high performers, who are your low performers, you can then engage in really having additional effective talent management processes. So it's really not that I recommend you should do the big bang. Maybe this is the right scenario for some customers, but this is not the only scenario. Mm. So you can really take it step by step and therefore you don't have to be afraid of any big disruption or big change management process. So I can't say this often enough, get a good partner like Alice, of course, and they will guide you um, to take these steps. And it's quite a fun journey to have. Thorsten, thank you so much for your time today. This was a really energetic and wait, very wait, wait. good. Wait, You said was? What yeah. about the naked truth? This is one of my favorite segments. So we don't usually do a naked truth during an interview, but. Well, that's what you think. <laughs> the naked truth. So after that, Thorsten, thank you so much. It's been really great to have you here with your insights and your opinions. It's really important to also get a feel for the human behind the system um, and being part of success factors in the team, bringing that humanity across is really great to experience. So thank you so much for your time. And I hope to see you again at the next bootcamp. I definitely love to come back. As I said, it's been a tremendous pleasure. Thanks for having me on the show. Perfect. Thank you.